What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bolero Sam here with Gab, the Sultan of Sando and Maui Yap. We're yeah. back. We're back with another episode of Lock Maybe or Not. This time we're going to talk about the NU Bulldogs, one of our always our dark horse um uh, team to make it to the championships, to win the championship. So we're going to talk about their deep roster and who's going to make it to the 16-man roster of NU this coming season 87. But before we talk about that, just a few reminders. First of all, we are starting to collect um, pre-orders for our Bolero shirt. Mau, ipakita mo ulit yung Bolero shirt mo. Um, in case you guys are interested to buy one, you can sign up below. UP Fighting Maroons yan. Okay? So you can sign up below, uh, share your contact details with us, and then we'll share more details once we finalize yung number of orders. Uh, we'll get back to you on that. But please, sign up below if you're interested. Next, um, we're doing our series of luck, maybe or not. Just a heads up, we won't be able to do all teams, by the way, just because not all teams have a long list of... Uh, players that could potentially make it to season 87. Siguro, I hate to disappoint the fans because I know we do have a lot of listeners from UP, but one of the teams that we decided not to cover for luck maybe or not is the UP Fighting Maroons. And it's because we looked at the list and sabi namin, okay, luck, 16 players. Ito na yung luck. Luck na to. Luck na to. Luck Walang na to. no questions luck asked. You would be crazy and, not to lock or, some of those oh, players. And you, unless someone is making a hard case for a Jello Rivero or a Matt, Nate Tan. I don't I, think. Yeah. If you are, I don't know why, but uh, go do you, man. So <laughs> I think wala tayo, wala tayo masyadong not, usapan sa totoo lang. Nothing against but, those two players, di ba? They just have super talented. Tough competition. That, uh, tough competition. That's the best, the better, you know. Uh, so better not for season eight. And if anyone is still making a case for a seven gagate, after the recruitment of uh, Miller QMB. Brown, uh, QMB. Milora Brown, uh, no way. <laughs> I don't think there is any argument to have seven gagate in the lineup. And the fact that he's been injured throughout the preseason, I don't think he's making it. So yeah, remember they have Alter, that, they have. Um, Stevens and Ododo. Uh, St- Stevens and Ododo, yeah. So, mahirap oh, yeah. na. So, mm, heads up lang. Heads up lang. Yan, lock heads up lang to Spoiler alert for a expecting. future episode. <laughs> lock na silang 16. Okay. So, before we get started sa Lock Maybe or Na, let's hear a word from our sponsors. Gab. This the Sultan of Sando. Is brought to you by the Sultan of Sando's favorite Sando right now. Cotton Club underwear and NYC underwear. Cotton Club. I love it here. See that? That's good quality. Stretchable quality sandals right here, man. For your <laughs> home and workout needs. The master of sando. The sultan of sando. Gablim approved. <laughs> oh, hey, let's get started. Luck, maybe or not. If you didn't see the previous episode, we talked about the Adamson Soaring Falcons. How we'll do this is we'll pick from the list of uh, rosters. Sorry, let me share that quickly. Ayan. So, I think, Gab, ilan yung players natin from NU? 21. 21. So, from the 21 players that we listed below, we are going to select 16 players that will make it to the Season 87 roster. We're going to select our locks, guaranteed to make it to the roster. Maybes, potentially, could make it to the roster or na. Sorry, but maybe next season na lang sila. So, let's get started. Number one, we have to talk about the star of the team, the guy that we've been talking about a lot of times when we talk about NU. Jake Figueroa, meron bang magsasabi na hindi siya lock? <laughs> You'd be crazy to to, to make say him a maybe or a na. Oh, oh. Lock yan. Lock is the lock, number lock. one guy. Number one guy. Lock to make the team. Lock to be potentially a, a mythical five player for season 87. If he stays healthy, di ba? Kasi um, shout out to our commenter in a previous episode. Sabi niya, Jake Figueroa got injured, I think. So hopefully, nothing serious. He'll be ready for season 87. So our first lock, 
the man, Jake Figueroa, the man for NU. Next, I think she yung captain, Jolo Manansala. Yes. Luck, maybe or not. Luck, luck, luck. Oh, hey, luck, na yan, eh? uh, Potential okay. breakout player ko yan, si Jolo Manansala. Okay. Diba? Potential breakout captain in his final year. Um, Gab, we have to talk about your boy, PJ Palacielo. Lock that guy in. Lock <laughs> that, that guy in. in. No, no. Lock him in. Lock, lock, him in. lock na lock yan. PJ uh, Palacielo. What's, what's, what I'm anticipating is I hope he... Now that they have other big men who are in the rotation and who can play center, I hope that they play more PJ at tower forward. We saw it in the preseason. The Coach Jeff was playing PJ at tower forward, and it's a whole new look talaga when you have a scoring big man. Eh. A guy who can just do floaters, do fadeaways from, from the post, and even stretch it out from for some time. Ibang look talaga yung offense ng NU pang si PJ yung gumagawa sa loob. Diba? So, I, I hope... They, they do it. Well, Maui, pa smile, smile. Yeah. Panoorin mo yung final sa Pinoy Liga versus Lasal. Lumamang sila nung si PJ yung gumagawa. So, get PJ no argument. the ball. No <laughs> argument nun pala, Shelo. Diba? They, they, they've ano, also, diba, what's something that they've experimented on is a very big lineup also. With pala, Shelo no, and no, uh, Gulapa Padrones. or pala, Shelo and Padrones playing, ano, three and four. Against Lasal, I think during the Pinoy Liga, during the start of Pinoy Liga, if they can utilize those lineups, why not, de ba? But I think yeah, Gab is right. Uh, Palacelo should slide in nicely at that power forward slot. I think he has to get touches. He has, he will definitely get touches this season with the departure of ano, de ba? Kian Baklaan, who's leaving a lot of touches, ano, available this season. Yeah, I'm rooting for PJ Palacelo. I love his size. I love his skill set. Uh, if he can convert into a uh, three, three or four, baka may potential din siya to make it to Gilas. Uh, you know, we we really love this guy. So, i sabi nga ni Gab, ilak mo na yan. I Yale padlak mo na yan. Dapat Yale yung magandang brand. Uh, moving on, this is Yale. Yale. Sponsor, Sponsor mo naman kami. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, so for more, coming back from his, uh, I would say, okay rookie year, Reinhard Humamoy. H- high expectations for this guy. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a lock. Um, anything you guys want to add? Or if you disagree, I'd be surprised. Oh, wait, Definitely, a lock. De- Definitely a lock. Definitely a lock si Humamoy. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens when the season starts. Uh, yun na talaga, yung concern ko eh, humamoy is yung inconsistency niya. I think during their Asia basket uh, games, mm-hmm. he was very inconsistent. Uh, he wasn't able to get a groove. And that's why Steve mm-hmm. Nash was the MVP of that tournament. Uh, yung upside ng Adamson, uh, Ad- Adamson tuloy, we just did the Adamson episode. Yung upside ng NU will depend a lot on where humamoy will be, I think, during the Agreed. second round. Of the season, if he can if he can level up his game, then definitely they could potentially fight for that uh, top two slots, uh, that highly coveted uh, top two slots in the UAAP. Uh, but if he is if he could, remains to be inconsistent the whole season, it could be a tough road uh, ahead for uh, for NU. Yeah. Agree, man. Uh, I I said it. They need a consistent number two scorer beside. Jake Figueroa. Not, not even a scorer, a consistent playmaker beside Jake Figueroa. Uh, and Reinhardt is the number one op- number one um, yeah, the number one option beside uh, Jake Figueroa. Uh, if he can hit threes, get to the basket, and if he can have a consistent love threat, maybe we'll talk about that later, I want to see a breakout season from Reinhardt Tumama. I've been high on this guy since he was in high school. I loved what I saw. So And Ah, I want to see him just put the ball in the basket. Gra- grabe. Uh, the, the skill set and the talent of, of Reynardo Mamoy uh, is something I'm really looking forward to this upcoming season. Remember, Gab was the one who said he could be better than Jared Bahay. Tama ba, Gab? Yun yung sabi mo? Yeah, I, I, I still think he is. 
I, for me, I still think he's a lot better. Well, his skill set, his, his his talent level right now is a lot better than what Jared Bahay has shown so far. I, I love what I see from Reynardo Mamo. Okay, so definitely a lock for the sophomore. Uh, Maui mentioned the other guard sa NU, Steve Nash Enriquez. Lock maybe or na? Lock! I think this guy is... You know, Oh, you know, this guy is the heart and soul of this team. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. It, it, it's the not past few seasons. Jake, oh, it's not Jake Figueroa, it's not Jolo, it's not Reinhard. Uh it's not it's not a, any of those guys. It wasn't even Kian, you said Maui when he was playing. It was Steve Nash. He wasn't he's not going to be a top tier scorer, a top tier point guard in 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 the UAAP. He's not um uh, big assist guy, he's not the, the, the best defender, but he is the heart and soul of this NU team. You look, you watch them from the sidelines, you watch them during the huddles. It's always Steve Nash, the most vocal player on this team, the guy who gets everyone in line. It's Steve Nash Enriquez, and he, he's an extension of Coach Jeff Napa on the court. You know, um, despite you know, he's not the most talented guard on on this team, but he's definitely the guy with the most heart. I mean, just look at the, that finals against LaSalle. Who hit the, the big shot from... Ah, yeah. Who hit the big shot from the corner? Steve Nash. And... Uh, uh, lock, lock him in, man. He, I think it's, it's his final year, right? I think it's his final year. Or does he have I'm one more? I'm not sure, actually. No, sure. But matanda na si Steve Nash. That's what I know. Um... Good. I think maganda yung sinabi mo, Gab. Heart and soul of the team. Uh, one of the few or maybe the only NU high school bullpup that did not move to to UP with Coach Gold. Kasi he was teammates with sina, um, sina Alarcon, if I'm not mistaken. Nag-abot pa sila eh. So he was part of that team but and stayed, decided to stay in NU. So yun talaga heart and soul. no Talagang and you bulldog for life though since the juniors division. So definitely a lock for for Steve Nash and Dikes. Yale pad lock mo na yan. Neil, sponsor mo naman kami. Um moving on. <laughs> moving on. Sino ba yung <laughs> sino, <laughs> sino ba yung mga players from last season? Um Patrick U. Ay, Patrick U, Patrick U. Yeah, napanggit natin. Patrick U. Should be Patrick a lock. lock, maybe or not. Should be a lock. Yeah, Maui, talk should more be. about Patrick Q, please. Yeah, I think he should be a lock. The he's a veteran. He knows the system of uh, Coach Jeff. He can provide shooting. He can provide some playmaking. Uh, I was actually expecting this guy to be a lot better in seniors division, but I think he suffered uh, an, an ACL injury, so he hasn't really taken that leap yet. Uh, this is a guy that was part of the 23 for 23. Gila's list of Coach Shot, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he has very good size. That did not age well. That did not age well. Uh, but I, still, I, I, I think he has good size. If he can good be size, that oh, knockdown ma- shooter, ma- ma- he can still continue to develop and maybe he can surprise us and still have a good pro career after. Uh, I think this guy should be in the lineup. Uh, they have to have wings. Wings you can defend uh, long and taller wings. Definitely. Agree, Patrick. You, oh. we've seen him have big games before, right? so he has the capability. He he's competent enough to score and to be a star, I think. But uh, you mm-hmm. know, um, it just hasn't come together for him yet. But he's a solid player. He's a solid rotational piece for Coach Jeff. He's a veteran as well. Uh, engineer Patrick, you lock him in. Lock na lock, Patrick Yu, one of the long guards of NU. Speaking of guards, another guy that played for NU in the past season didn't get much playing time, Don Lim. Uh, lock maybe or na? Lock! Okay, Don lock. Lim. Is they lock. need shooters. Exactly. They need shooters. And I, Sam, he got a ton of playing time. Don Lim? Well, sorry, was sorry. It? Don Lim, uh, well, uh, he, hindi siya masyado nagpakita nung actual season. But I think nung preseason, he was one of their uh, best guys nung last season. Um, 
was it uh, the game against NU when uh, the game against UP sa Pinoy Liga, di ba? I think Don Lim was one of the top scorers along with Reinhard Humamoy. Uh, but I would say season 86 wasn't was a bit of a dis- disappointment for me for Don Lim. Mataas expectations sa kanya. Eh. No, it's just because uh, and daming other guards eh. Uh, yun ng problem talaga with with Don Lim. He's shown that that he he can play, he he can play make, he can definitely shoot. The problem was he was playing behind guards like Ray, Ray, Reinhard Tomamoy, Kian Baklaan, Baklaan. Yeah. Steve Nash, Patrick Yu. Uh, so, but he still plays a very important role. He's a very important piece. He's an option of that bench. Even he can possibly start for Coach Jeff. Uh, the shooting is invaluable. He's not a speedy or athletic guard. He doesn't have the same uh, crazy handles that, that Reinhard ha- has. But uh, he's steady. He can shoot. He can run a pick and roll from time to time. So uh, lock him in. Uh, yung pagkatapos ng you, yung biglang may lim. Let's go. Let's go, Lim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Let's talk about the big man. Uh, Kenshin Padrones played for, for NU last season. Lock maybe or nah. I think he's a lock. He has the size. Um, in uh, infamously, I sumikat lang siya dahil siya yung nasiko ni ano last season, uh, sa UP. But um, I think he has the potential to to do well this season. Then as long as he's healthy, uh, Maui is he a lock maybe or ana? Yeah, uh, I think same with Palacelo. I think he's a lock. Uh... They have to have big men in the lineup, diba? A lot of teams in the UAP have started to to really load up on the front court. Uh, with with the defending champion Lasal, because they had that big advantage last season of having uh, a lot of options for their front court. Uh, he they, he will get a lot of playing time this season. Uh, hopefully, no more freak accidents for Kenshin Padrones. Uh, but uh, with Coach Nash, uh, with Coach Jeff also, you know, experimenting on very big lineups, diba? Maybe we can see Palacelo and Padrones in those wing slots. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. But I think he's a lock, definitely. Yeah, he's a big who can also shoot. Uh, and I think that's how he got minutes also from last season. And and starting for before he got injured, he was a starter. So. Uh, that, that spacing that he provides is pretty valuable for Coach Jeff. The consistency lang talaga for Kenshin. If you can consistently hit threes, I think it would make a very big deal for NU's upside. Sami. Okay, so before we talk about the FSA. The elephant um, in the room. The elephant in the room. <laughs> they do have two FSAs. We've been talking about this all preseason long. Mo Diasana and Omar John. Sino ba ang pipiliin ng Boleros as the FSA for NU this coming season 87? Bago natin pag-usapan yung bigs ng NU, let's talk about our sponsor. Hype 24-7 Fitness. Gap. As mentioned, this episode is brought to you by Hyped 24-7 Fitness. Feel the hype. And we are and we're right after this, I am going to hype. I am gonna work out. Telling you guys, it's a pretty good gym. Excellent facilities. So go get yourself a hype 24-7 fitness membership right now. Located Gabs- in Robinson's Magnolia and Congressional Avenue. Saan ka pala nag, ano, baka in case gusto ka makita ng mga tao para lang alam nila, saan ka pumupunta sa hype? Rob Mag ka ba? <laughs> Rob Mag? <laughs> uh, yes, sa Rob Mag. Huwag sa amin yung baka mag-stalker tayo. Hanapin niya yung Sultan of Sando, di ba? Hanapin niya yung nakasando doon. Just kidding, just kidding. Something, ano. Joke lang, joke lang. Moving on. Moving on. Ah, uh, ingat ka Gab. Ingat kayo kay Gab pala. Sorry, balik dad. Ingat kayo kay Gab. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Modi sana Omar John. We've debated this in previous episodes. Who is going to be your FSA for season 87? Maui, let's start with you. Oh. Mm. Ako, I would go with Omar John. I think I said this before. Uh 
I like mo diya sana, di ba? I have given, I've said bad words about, uh, I, I've criticized Omar John in the past. Uh, I know yung upside in diya sana is higher, but I'm still going for Omar John. Di ba? Uh, if Kian Baklaan was in NU right now, I'd probably go diya sana. I just think that it's very important that they have uh, steady hands in the point guard slot and the steady big man. Uh, I think Omar John has more experience, definitely more experience than Diazana. Uh, fortunately for Omar John, uh, there's this is a new batch of FSAs. So maybe he won't get uh, intrigued or maybe he won't get uh, no, no more. No. Eaten alive. Eaten alive. Diba? Wala na si Malik Diyo. So maybe he can he has that breath of new fresh air. Uh, it's not going to be Henry Agunane who's probably going to be the best big uh, FSA. Uh, but uh, just because Kian Baklaan left NU, I would go with Omar John. Uh, they will have probably Humamoy uh, at the point guard slot. Uh, and sometimes Justin Garcia. So they need to have that steady presence. They need to have that veteran uh, presence. I don't think you should have two new... That you should have a new point guard and a new big man. Uh, I think for them to be able to to get to the next level, they they have enough upside in my opinion with with some with the players that they have. They they just need to to be more consistent. I think that's something Omar has to work on, diba? We've seen him get, get, get foul trouble uh, in crucial games. We've seen him disappear in crucial games. But maybe that experience, maybe that uh, that that run he's been able to get the past few seasons will be enough to, to get over the hump. I know Gab will probably have a different opinion. Gab. <laughs> Let's go, Gab. You, you've read my mind. Uh, I am not going with Omar John. Sorry, Omar. I, I know he is going to react to this, <laughs> to this video uh, and probably dislike me for it. But I'm going with Modi Asana. Um, I'm going with upside. Uh, NU is going to compete. I think they're a lock for the Final Four. I think they have enough talent. But the question is, can they make the leap to a championship contender? Can they make it to the finals? Can they win a championship? And that's and, and that's it. No, People na will not remember if you're second place or third place in one season. Or not. They will remember if you're a champion. And I'm going with the upside of Amodi Asana. I like the combination with Reinhard Humamoy. You've seen those two play together. Maganda Reinhard chemistry Humamoy. nila, no? Maganda chemistry nila, yes. Hinahanap lagi ni Humamoy si Dia Asana. And, eh. and that's something that Omar John cannot give in you. Uh, Modi Asana is a legit lob threat. He's more athletic than Omar John. He has, he's a better rim runner. So... That's a different aspect to their offense that they could go to. And I want to see it. I, I want to see him paired up with the Reinhardt Umamwe and maybe even the Justin Garcia. Just look at the loves that Reinhardt throws to Modi Asana. It's obvious that they've been practicing it. Uh, they've been putting a long, long hours running that pick and roll. Uh, and I think that's something that can help open up the lane for Reinhardt. It's another option that he can go to. So, put me in. Uh, upside for me, pare. Uh, now is not the time to be happy for Final Four. You know, kung maka Final Four again, that should be a disappointment for NU. They should gun for championship. I, I no know it's, pull upside. Oh, I, I, I know malayo yung gap ngayon from UP to Lasal and, and then maybe tumawi to UST. Pero but to tumihin sa amin, it was to NU eh. So, I know Malayo and Gap, so they have to close that gap. And I think the upside of Modi Asana will close that gap. Uh, Sami. Okay, to break the tie, let me just say this. I had Omar John as my luck. Uh, I picked him because <laughs> of Lasal. I was looking at Lasal, I was looking at UP with the bigs that UP got, QMB. Uh, I wanted an FSA that was bigger, that was longer. So I had Omar John as my lock for for NU. I feel like um, 
with the top two teams having a lot of really long, big guys, Omar John would be a better FSA for season 87. Pero, <laughs> pero, so, eh, nakasulat, you can check my list. Pero, na-convince ako ni Gab. Na-convince ako ni Gab sa upside. So, I'm I'm moving to Modia sana. Uh, and I'm picking Modia sana because upside and um, long-term potential with, as you mentioned, Reinhard Humamoy Gab. Kasi, maybe Humamoy is not the star now. Um, Steve Nash and Rikas Maui, you mentioned he was the MVP sa Asia Basket. But definitely, your future is going to be Reinhard Humamoy. And it would be good to sort of build on that, um, yung building blocks or yung foundation of that future. So I can just imagine Mo Diasan and Reinhard Humamoy and their chemistry. Maganda yung na-point out ni Gab. Kasi when I watch them, I swear Reinhard Humamoy always looks for Diasana for that for that alley-oop dunk. No, minsan, bad pass na nga actually. But I'd, I'd like to see more of that. Um, so Gab convinced me. I'm locking Mo Diasana in for season 87. I love Omar John, pero... You can't go wrong with either. And I'm sure teams like Ateneo would love to have either one of them. But I'm going mo- with Mo Diasana. Or, sabi nila si Mo Diasana na kung, kung, kung ayaw niyo yun yun. Hindi yun yun lang sa amin. <laughs> sa Ateneo na. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, okay. Maui, I want you to tell us kung luck maybe or not. This is a guy that you like. I know when we were watching you like this guy, Joe Gulapa. Luck yan. Kasi energy guy nila yan eh. And uh, they have to have other options sa bigs. Uh, I think I mentioned kanina when I talked about Padrones. Teams are loading up on their front court. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why Ateneo has really struggled to go up against UAP teams. Diba? Uh, a lot of yung blueprint ng Lasal kasi whenever you're the champion te- teams look up to you diba? they want to convert their bigs to wings like like they did they, they did with Kambao uh, it's maybe one of the reasons that coach coach Jeff was also experimenting in preseason it's and it's one of the reasons why I think Mason Amos transferred diba, to Lasal because he also wants to be converted to a wing uh the UAAP is starting to look like a a big man's league also. Uh, a lot of big man. A lot of our big man are sliding to that four slot. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why I think all three of us agree that at the UAAP should never remove yung FSA, diba? FSA in the in in, in, in the lineup. Uh big men are now getting more, you know, getting more exper- getting more uh, talented. Uh, they have the skill set to be able to play four or even three. Diba? Having a player like Gulapa, who's an energy guy who's also big and strong, is a must. Uh, I think they have to have multiple options. Uh, it's one of the reasons that maybe it's I haven't been high on Adamson the past two seasons, diba? Because they also lack big man. But it's one of the reasons why I think NU has been able to be consistently p- big part of the Final Four. Because they have that versatility. They have wingmen who can defend tall wings. They have big man who can get into foul trouble because they have other options. Gulapa could also uh, play, take his game to the next level this season. If he plays similar to how he played against Sasal with all that energy and uh, even dunks, uh, he could be uh, a sneaky option for Coach Jeff come season 87. So I think Gulapa is a luck, should be a luck. Um, I agree with Maui. Uh, Joe Gulapa has size has athleticism so he's probably gonna be a th- i don't think he's gonna be the backup center i think it's gonna be one of palacello or padrones taking up that backup center mm-hmm. minutes so maybe a third string center if again you sabi animawi kung if an injury happens you you need someone to uh you you need a backup plan and i think joe Gulap is a very good backup plan so put me down for a lock for Joe Gulapa. Plus, he has a really great name. Joe Gulapa. Joe Gulapa. Name. May amas pa yan, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh, may pa is tinis din. One of the stars <laughs> nung high school, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, Joe Gulapa is a lock. We have 10 locks now. Tama ba, Gab? 
Yes, we have 10 locks. Okay, 10 locks. Moving on. Uh, let's talk about their prized rookies. Uh, Justin Garcia. Meron lock. Na lock. Na lock for sure. Lock na yan. Lock for sure. Oh, Kasi diba, so, this, co- oh. Coach Jeff always wants to have lots of options on, on that ano, on that guard slot. And guard spot. We've yeah. been high on Justin Garcia. I really think if he decided to stay sa Adamson, he could be that starting point guard. Diba? But he decided to go with Coach Nash. Coach Nash has a history of developing good guards and giving them the opportunity to do so. Coach diba? Jeff. But maybe Coach. it's Coach Jeff. Coach, Coach Jeff. Jeff. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Coach Jeff has that history also of developing good guards, diba? Uh Despite the leash, diba? The, uh, the leash he has on, on young players. Maybe it's maybe that's the reason also why these players get to be good uh, eventually. Uh, we're, I'm high on Justin Garcia. I think he could have that. Uh, they can play multiple point guards uh, as shown. During previous seasons, diba? he could play with Rainer Dumamoy or Steve Nash at the same time. Coach Jeff Lat loves to go on with that two guard lineup. So, yeah, definitely a lock. Gab, you were high on this yeah. guy in high school. Yes, I love this guy. And if you've if you watched him in the preseason, when even when uh Steve Nash was there or one of Steve Nash or Reinhardt was out, this guy, Justin Garcia, would step up, starting lineup, and it's rare when you see a rookie not get sped up. Usually, rookie point guards get sped up when they're pressured because it's tough to be a point guard. You know, the pressure is there from the backcourt to bring up the ball to set up the play. I have not seen that from Justin Garcia. This guy is for real. He impressed me in the juniors ranks when I watched him for the Adamson Baby Falcons. And he continues to impress me in the seniors. I think he's a future star. And if they can play the, the two lefties together, si Reinhardt and si Justin to, to, together, my goodness. Uh, Galing, they have a ton of potential from, from those two guards. Uh, he has this uh, mid-range pull-up that he loves to go to that I think is pretty unstoppable. See si Justin Garcia, when he stops at the, three, at the free throw line then just hits that midi shot, he just knows how to get to his spot. See Justin Garcia. He knows how to get to his spot. He knows how to score. Despite his, his smaller stature, he can definitely put the ball in the basket. And I, I love the potential. Definitely a lock for me. Lock na lock na yan, Justin Garcia. What's great about him is, as Maui mentioned, he can play with the other guys, or other guards of NU. He is a point guard now. He's a floor general. But originally... I think in high school, he started out as a two-guard and then transitioned into the point-guard role. So he can definitely play both guard positions and play with the other guys of NU. So lock, Justin Garcia. What about Vince Reyes? Another star from high school. Um, hasn't played as much here in um, the preseason for NU. Is he a lock, a maybe, or a na? Gab. He's a maybe. Maasim mo ka mo. Maasim mo ka mo. He's a maybe for me. I The transition from a big man to a perimeter player, whether it's a guard or a wing, is going to be difficult. And from what I've seen, it's been difficult for Vince Reyes. He does not have a handle yet. He His shot is slow. Eh? We've seen him shoot in the juniors division. Yeah, now. set He's shot. Siya, na, oh, na. set shot. Siya. Uh, and he can't do it off the dribble. He can't take jump shots off the dribble yet. Uh, his release is too slow. He he has to have time to get that shot off. And if he's not a consistent shooter, I don't know what he is. He's not big enough to play power forward, to play center. He has to be a wing. And if, if he can't play make, he can't handle the ball. And he can't get shots off by, by himself. And he has to be set up. I don't think he has a spot in this roster yet because there are other guys here in, in this list that I think can contribute immediately to to NU. I don't know what you guys think. Maui, I, I don't know if you think of Vince Reyes the, the, the same as I do. Yeah. Uh, actually, originally, it was a lock on my list uh, just because of yung, yung him being a marquee recruit uh, with Justin Garcia from Adamson. 
But based on what we've seen, I think one year or maybe a year or two in the in the in team B would do him wonders, diba? It will develop his game more. He can transition more easily. He can experiment. He'll get more playing time. He'll get to experiment. Uh, I think he would be best suited to to sit out uh, season eighty seven. Uh, not even maybe for me. I think it's not uh, for Vince Reyes for this season. Oh, it's a no. It's a no. Wow. I think okay. So very, ano, very big yung ano, very big yung drop. Uh, in in my opinion, I think. It, kasi ano eh, I want him to a lot of players, a lot of top players from my school uh, get into the team A slot immediately. And they don't get to really work on their game. Eh. They, 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 they got, don't get to transition. They Good don't point. get to be Good able to, to develop diba, and experiment. I think for Vince Reyes to be able to transition talaga better to, to that wing slot or as a tall big, uh, a tall guard he has to to be able to be given the liberty to to experiment and ex, and train uh and get a lot of run uh and and you will not have that ano will not have that liberty to do so diba? they want to win now diba? they want to win now they want to win all the games that they could win you want to secure that top two slots uh in the UAP so yeah and not for me for Vince Reyes just because I want him to develop more in Team B. Yeah. Right now, NU is a win now mode. I don't think they have leeway to give minutes to Vince Reyes and help him develop. Sam, what do you think? Uh, those are good points. Actually, maganda yung sinabi ni Maui. But, para lang, ano, para maybe we can consider him again. I'm gonna put him as a lock. Para maiba, we can consider Ooh. him again. Okay, okay, I okay. actually had him, so just like Maui, I had him as a lock maybe on my list. So nakasulat, lock maybe. So I'm, I actually was leaning towards a maybe. He could be like your 16th man on the roster. But since nag maybe and na kayo, I'll put him as a lock. Uh, highly touted recruit. Um, have to give him a chance to make it to Team A. I want him to learn from guys like Jake Figueroa, Jolo Manansala. Uh, but I, I get your point. So maybe we can go back to him later if hindi natin ma-fill out yung roster. So for now, he's a maybe. Since he's one a maybe. lock, one na. One lock, one, one maybe. Na, one maybe. He's a maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Sige. So maybe Vince Reyes. Uh, moving on. Let's talk about guys from the team last year. Meron pa ata tayong mga natitira. Uh, Mark Parks. Mark Parks. Okay, Mark Parks. Sige. Mark Parks. Lock, maybe, or na. Gab, since ikaw nagbanggit. To me, I would... I actually have other locks aside from him. For me, it's a maybe for now. He's, he's not spectacular in any specific skill but if you compare him to another wing player in Vince Reyes he has better handles he has a better shooting stroke he's faster and quicker on his feet so if we were choosing between Vince Reyes and Mark Parks I would go with Mark Parks but I want to reserve him for later maybe you guys have a different opinion he's a maybe for me right now uh, Maui Sam any opinion on Mark Parks Oh, I, I have him Mark as a maybe. I have him as a maybe. Maui. I had him as a, a, a lock. Uh, they, also, I think that you need player, you you foster players who have had experience in the UAAP. Diba? Mark Parks has been there for what, the past two seasons? I think. Uh, but you can, go, na na, you, diba? oh, you can go wild card the man. Oh, okay. yeah. You can go wild card the man on, on your last four picks. Diba? Right now, we're at what? 10, I agree. 11, diba? So I think Mark Parks could be that guy. He can defend wing players. But I agree with Gab. He doesn't have he hasn't shown any flashes. He hasn't shown any upside. He's just uh, a player that you can throw to to defend the other players, other teams, top players. Uh so far, nothing very flashy with Mark Parks. Okay, okay. So I have him as a maybe. So maybe pwede natin balikan it's a maybe. Mamaya. Okay. Sige, so one lock, two maybes. Sige, let's talk about a guy that's 
mm, not flashy, sabi ni Maui, like Mark Parks, but I like this guy. I'm putting him in as a lock. Mon de la Cruz. Lock! Uh, lock! Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, lock. Oh, hey, He's been starting the whole yeah. preseason mm-hmm. for, for NU. And, not but, flashy. If you talk about si oh. Maui kasi, ni sinabi niya not flashy, ito, ito agad na isip ko eh, si Mon de la Cruz. But go ahead, Gab. I love his length. His 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 strength in the paint. He's willing to get dirty inside. You know, willing to get those garbage buckets in the paint. And I think that's what has him endeared to coach Jeff Napa. He's just willing to do the dirty work. He's not gonna get a ton of touches. He's not gonna get a ton of plays call out for him. But he is gonna hustle. Uh, think of him as a uh, uh, Rich Alvarez light or a Zion Later. Diba? Zion Later po eh. <laughs> Grabe yung what reach, throw- ha? What the throwback. Zion Later. I'm sorry. I'm lahat mga Atenista because they're, they're the guys I've watched the most. So, these, Zion Later is a perfect comparison. There's a guy, no one runs a play for Zion Later. No one runs a play for Juan de la Cruz. He just finds himself in the action all the time. That's how I've seen him play. Diba? He's not a spectacular three-point shooter. He's not a playmaker. He's not a spectacular defender, but he has size. He defended KQ in the in the Pinoy Liga Finals. So, put him in that that size is in, invaluable for him. The the hustle, the dirty work young that he's willing to do for for NU. Uh, and I think Coco Jeff loves him, so he's a lock for me. That's two locks, Maui. Yeah, I think I agree. I say, but. Yung description mo sa kanya perfectly fits what a type of player thrives in Coach Jeff's system, di ba? This is the type of player he wants. Kaya nga si Steve na siyang heart and soul natin, eh. Feisty players who can do a lot of things on the floor, di ba? I think he fits that mold, so definitely uh, a luck. Yeah, oh, hey. Mon de la Cruz. Finally, someone we agree on, um, role player, Mon de la Cruz. So we have 12 players already, tama ka? 12, yep. Okay, Walmart deciding spots. on our last four spots. Jello Santiago. One of the guards played for NU in the past season. Luck, maybe, or na? Maui. Uh, actually, to be honest, di ko kilala masyado si Jello Santiago. So, he's a na for me. They have a lot of guards. Uh, and maybe one more person from the list, I think, should or could make the list based on his performance as uh, a preseason. So for me, he's, he's a na. He's a na. A- ako, he's a maybe for me, si Jello Santiago, because they have, I, I'm seeing their lineup, they have two other uh, players here that I want to get in be- before si Jello. Although, uh, siguro para kay Mawil, I think he came from CEU, si Jello Santiago. And he was playing already last season. I think he served his residency year in season 86 so now he's eligible to play season 87 but this guy was from ceu he's a shooter so that's what makes him a maybe for me he hasn't shown the ability any other ability that uh, stands out for him but his shooting does make him invaluable for him. so i'm putting him uh, as a maybe sammy jealous and child. yeah i'll put him as a maybe uh we saw him play sa pinoy liga then I think he started some of the games of Pinoy League, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, I'd consider it... Uh, we'll see. May iba pa na ding players na I want to see first. So, we can get back to him. So, we'll put him with Vince Reyes, Mark Parks, Jelo Santiago. As maybe. Okay. Sige. Ito, Maui. Para sa'yo to. Um, Paul Francisco. <laughs> Kapangalan pa namin, di ba? Kapangalan mo eh. <laughs> <laughs> De, ako, ako, honestly, I like this guy, di ba? Even before last season, di ba? I don't think, he didn't make that, eh, di ba? Season 86 de, last lineup. season, oh. di. Yeah. Even before this season, I'm not sure if season 86 was a residency here or something or he just didn't make the cut. Uh, but even before last season, during the preseason, he was very good, di ba, sa Pinoy Liga. Uh, this is a knockdown shooter and a very feisty defender. Uh, I think it's something that they need. Diba? NU is a team that needs shooting. Diba? It's something that they've struggled with in the past. It's one of the main reasons why Don Lim will probably 
start at shooting guard this year. Uh, they need this guy. They need knockdown shooters. They need Paul Francisco. Get him in. Diba? He had a breakout game against Ateneo during uh, the, the, the preseason, before season 86. I think he has that capability to to be the another knockdown shooter for, for NU. So I was talking about Jelo Santiago and I wanted to get other guys in first. This was one of the guys, Paul Francisco. Again, he's a shooter. They need shooting, as Maui said. Lock him in. Uh, he's shown some playmaking also, si Paul Francisco. So, uh, I'd, I'd love you what, I've, what he's shown for two off seasons now. So, lock him in, Paul Francisco. Yeah, he's a lock. Um, got hot nung Pinoy Liga last, last year. That's when we started noticing this guy. We were surprised he didn't make it to the team nung season 86. So, Hopefully, he makes it to season 87 because he's a lock for the three of us. So, Paul Francisco is our 13th guy. We have three more guys to go. Uh, speaking of um, guys in the preseason, not to labot. Gab, lock maybe or na. I don't know if you guys own. I like this guy. Uh, yeah, Locked I know. I know. That's me. why I picked you. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I like not to labot. Uh, again, he's a guard. But he's good. Big guard. Uh, Medyo he's a big guard. Big he's guard. A stocky guard. He's big. He's a stocky guard. But this guy can handle. He's quick. This guy is quick, and um, he can shoot as well. He's a left-handed shooter. I don't think he's gonna surpass any of the rotational guards for now. But as an emergency guard off the bench, I like him. I like Nato Labot. So, uh, for, I think it's a lot. I, for me, it's a lot. Uh, oh, if you make made me pick over him or Jelo Santiago, yeah, I like the upside of a not to labot. I like the upside of a not to labot. Maui. Yeah, I think pwede siyang lock. Uh, I think uh, he, he, is, he was also ano pala, an NU bullpup. Diba? You also yep. have to give, ano, to reward those people who stayed. Diba? <laughs> who decided not to transfer to another <laughs> school. Kasi konti lang yung nagstay sa Konti lang silang nagstay. Konti lang silang nagstay. Diba? This guy was also, I think, ano, a Batang Gilas player. So, this guy ah, decided to stay in NU. Well, I, I've seen pictures where he's wearing Philippines na, na jersey. Uh, I think oh, you yeah. have to reward that uh, just to show also yung, yung juniors, junior players nila that they really have plans and they intend to develop players from their program. Uh, Coach Jeff is also very active, di ba? Sa juniors program nila right now. Uh no other players to man stand out. So I think he could get that opportunity this season. So yeah, a lock for me too. Yeah, I agree. So I had them as a lock and the only reason ko was familiarity with the system of Coach Jeff. You mentioned that Maui, he played for the NU Juniors team. So very familiar with that system. Um, can teach the young guys also more of a... You, you won't expect him to be a starter, but uh, a steady presence for the team, I would say. So, not to labot, lock. Two more, guys. So, meron, we are, we're down to our last two. Tapos, meron tayong tatlong maybe. Jelo Santiago, Vince Reyes, Mark Parks. Any other guys that you want to lock or put in as a maybe from our list? So, ang natitira na lang is... Kurt Persiano. RJ Colonia, Andre De Leon. So the three maybes plus Kurt Persiano, RJ Colonia, Andre De Leon. Gab, make your case for Kurt Persiano. Just the size alone. <laughs> I mean, actually, I've in some games in the preseason, when he's been inserted, he produces. This guy has good touch around the rim, but he's not fast. I think that's... Um, the one the, the one thing that's going against him if you're picking between the other big men of of uh of NU in Kenshin Padrone, si Joe Gulapa, si PJ Palacello. Kurt Pochano is a good what? I think he's six seven, six eight. He was one of these big guys that were recruited from last season, al- along mm-hmm. with si De, De Los Reyes, who, who left. transferred to yeah, yeah, who who transferred to the NCAA. But I think as a guy, six seven, six eight, man, you can't teach height in basketball. You need height, and as a, again, if someone gets injured, you want to have depth in the front court. Imagine if uh, Mo Diasana gets injured, so you'll be left with 
Joe Gulapas, PJ, and si Kurt Bresciano, and si Kenshi Badrones. I think you'd want the height of uh, Kurt Bresciano there. And you end the girth of Kurt Bresciano, Kurt Bresciano in your lineup. I like him. I, I like him. I, I, yung, I, I, I like what he brings. You know, if, if it's a, listen, if it's a choice between uh, a Mario Barassi or a Kurt Persano, I, you know, I take a Kurt Persano. So, <laughs> put him in. You 15 spot here? Put him in. Kurt Persano. Yeah. Ako, I agree. Di ba? Kasi we're talking about how teams have been stacking up yung big men rotation nila. You have to lot, have to, a lot of bigs. Uh, you have to have second, third options, especially if you're dealing with injuries. Uh, saka another end your bullpup, di ba? You have to to really show that you're willing to develop uh, yung, yung players. So if you really want to take seriously yung, yung, yung juniors division, juniors team nyo, uh, I think that they should put this guy in just because of his size and uh, how they can continue to develop him, di ba? I think it would be very good for him to be able to match up with people like Palacelo, people like Padrones. Uh, he can look at how they develop their games and uh, uh, try to, to to mold himself to become somebody like them. 6-7 is a luxury in the UAP. Ateneo would say definitely. Nabanggit na naman yung Ateneo. Naiingit yung Ateneo. Uy, may 6-7 silang nasa bench lang. Sana lang. Sana all. 15 thrusters, but... Um, yeah, good points. Uh, we'll put Kurt Prashano as your lock for the 15 thrusters spot. I think naging lock din siya when Drex De Los Reyes left left the team. Kasi De Los Reyes was also playing minutes lalo na nung nawala si Padrones last season, di ba? So, I think as your 15th guy, it wouldn't hurt to have a 6-7 guy on your bench. Okay, down to the last spot. Meron pa ba yung mga nominate as a lock, maybe or na? As a lock, or a maybe, or sino ba dito sa mga tatlong uh, natin? I just wanna shout out si RJ Colonia. He played for the NU Bullpups. Junior's uh, team then, no? Yeah, sa, sa junior's team. But we haven't seen him play. I don't know if he's injured or there are any issues with him. But this guy was a shooter in the in the juniors ranks. So I was hoping that I that we would see him by now play maybe in the pre in any of the preseason tournaments, but wala eh. So I'm not sure if there's anything go going on there. But since we haven't seen him play, I'm not willing to put him on the radar uh, of this NU roster. Uh see Andre De Leon, same thing. I have not seen this guy play much in the preseason, so I'm not gonna make a case for him to get into the roster. But we have our three maybes, so maybe we can debate that. Yeah, sorry. Parang nawala yung audio mo, Gab. Anyway, um, yeah, RJ Colonia, I think was one of their stars nung high school. Actually, I yeah, had to research was. him. I had to research him kasi hindi ko na siya maalala. But yeah, he was one of their stars in high school. Pero we haven't seen much from him, so didn't pick him also. So, kung dun sa tatlo, that would be Jello Santiago, Vince Reyes, Mark Parks. I picked Vince Reyes as my lock kanina. So, I'm going with Vince Reyes uh, potentially then, helping him develop. Uh, I know we also picked Mark Parks Maui as a lock. So, maybe it's a Vince Reyes or Mark Parks. Yun ang sinong pick nyo. So, Maui... Mark Parks ka, diba? So, Gab. Tama ba, Maui? So, Tama? Hindi, pero if, if we're talking tatlo. about the oh, 16, sige, sige. if we're talking ah, about the 16 sige. slot, diba? Alam naman nyo, I'm biased with wing, wing players, six four players and up. So, maybe I can put si Vince Reyes na lang over these two players. Diba? Mark Parks mm-hmm. or him, yeah, probably Vince Reyes. Oh, okay. I'm kind I, I'm kind of leading towards Jelo Santiago just because of Jello the shooting Santiago. alone. <laughs> yeah. But I get why si Vince Reyes. I mean, uh, 16th roster spot, siguro he's like the Kyle Gamber that we had of last season. If you remember, or Gagate. Or Gagate. Uh, or si Seven or Gagate. Gagate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or, di ba? The, the guy you can just put into the roster just because maybe baka, baka lumipat pa siya pang hindi mo ipasok, di ba? So, this guy... I get it. I get it. I, I get why si Vince Reyes for now. I don't, again, I've said what I've said again for Vince Reyes. I don't think he's ready yet 
to be a rotational piece for uh, any seniors to team right now, but I get it. He's a highly touted recruit, a high school star, finals MVP in the UAAP. If you don't put him in the roster, he might look elsewhere, right? Diba? So, yeah. Uh, you, you, you guys have convinced me. I, uh, let's put Vince Reyes in. So, sorry, Jello, Santiago, and Mark Parks. <laughs> Again, picks to ng boleros, guys. Ha? Mga boleros. So, well, this is not the final roster. But, Gab, please recap the 16-man roster for NU. So, we have their main guy, Jake Figueroa. Their veteran, Jolo Manansala. PJ Palacello. My favorite, si Rain Hardu. Humamoy, their heart and soul, si Steve Nash Enriquez, Patrick Yu, Don Lim, Kenshin Padrones, Moldy Asana, Joe Gulapa, Justin Garcia, Moon de la Cruz, Paul Francisco, Nacto Labot, Kirk Persiano, and finally, Vince Reyes. So that is this, our 16-man roster for the NU Bulldogs for Season 87. Oh, hey, that's it for today's episode of Luck, Maybe or Na. If you agree or disagree with our picks for NU, comment them down below. We are going to talk more about the other teams. So we're going to do another episode of Luck, Maybe or Na soon. And remember, if you want to pre-order the Bolero shirts, um, check out the link, the, dis- the link in the description. The details will be there. We'll see you again le- next time. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe. Bye-bye.